Uh, hello buddy, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome back to my gaming tutorial. Today I'm planning on starting another a series in gaming tutorials, short game tutorials on simple stuff in Bay Game Maker with the final goal of creating Pac-Man. It will be consisting of a short video teaching you stuff like grid-based movement, collision detection, enemy AI, sprite importing, sound, etc. etc. We'll find out as we go along. But for today, we'll start with a simple grid-based movement like in the old Pac-Man game. So, without further ado, let's get this tutorial on the way! Inside of Game Maker, you'll see that we have a completely blank project file. I will start with creating a sprite. We'll call it SPR Player. You can call it whatever you want, but just keep it consistent. We'll make a new sprite, 32 by 32. Grab, create a sprite like this. This will just be a temporary one, but... We'll be using it for the next few videos until we get to sprite importing. Send to the sprites and OK. Then we can create an object called OBJ player. Give it that sprite and add in the create event. Go into control and add some code. And we can give it a title initialize variable. I will be commenting a lot of this out because of the fact that we'll be. Uh, We'll be using this project file in the later videos. So there's that. We'll start with the movement variable since that's what we want to create. We want to create a grid size movement. The size of the grid that we're going to move is 32. The speed or the amount of pixels per frame we're going to move is going to be, is going to be 4. Make sure that grid size is divisible by move speed. Meaning that you will get a whole number if you divide 32 by 4 in this example, which you will, you'll get 8. You can make this 64, which will then give you 16. Doesn't matter, you can change these around, you can make this 16 or 32. Just needs to, grid size just needs to be divisible by moves. We will need horizontal speed and vertical speed, both set to 0. We want a variable to check if we're currently moving, set that to false. And we also need a timer to see how long we need to move, and that needs to be set to grid size. Next, we can tick this and add a new event, step, and add in some code. Move the player. First thing we'll do, I'm going to get some references for key presses, so key left will be the same as keyboard. Check BK left. This here means the left arrow key. If you want the to use, uh, let's say A in this matter, you can do it like this. Make sure that A is a capital and has quotations around it. But I'm gonna stick to BK left for this example. And then we can actually copy this and make this right. This two more times. I can't type apparently. Up and down. There we have a little bit of reference to all of the keys we need. Then if is not moving, basically, that's what we're saying here. We want to check if the keys are being pressed so we can start to move. I'll do it for one key and then quickly go through and explain how it works and then I'll quickly do the other keys later. So if we do first if key left, we want to set is moving to equals to true. We want to set the timer to grid size even if it is but it can change. We want to set the horizontal speed to equal minus move speed and vertical speed equal to zero. We set this to through, true so it doesn't check for other keys. We want to set this to grid size so that the timer starts at this number that it needs, so basically it's zero here. We set HSP to equals minus move speed because we want to go to the left. If you want to go left on the horizontal axis, it's in minus. If you want to go right, it's on a, it's, it's positive. So let me just quickly go to right so you see the difference. Else if key right 
I'll just copy the same code because there's only one difference and that is we need to change HSP to positive. Then we can do else if key let no, key up. To go up on a vertical axis, we need to have the vertical speed to be equal to something negative, something so negative move speed. And H speed is zero. And copy and paste. Key down and make this positive. Then down here we'll set if is moving. Actually, we can do that here, else. Because we have if not is moving, and then if we write else here, I mean it is moving. It is moving, is positive. We want to check if move timer is part, uh, above zero. Because if it's above zero, we still want to move the character. Take move time minus equal move speed. We want to do x plus equal hsp and y plus equal gsp. Plus equal basically means uh, take x and add hsp to it. Can also be written as x equal x plus hsp as it's done in many other programming languages. And if move tower is not above zero, so it's zero or below, we want to start set is moving to false again. Because then we have gotten to the point that we want. And that is everything we need. We save and okay this. We can create a room. 640 by 640. Doesn't matter the speed. And drop in the player. We're done. And this is the project file that we just finished. You can walk around uh, by pressing the arrow keys. Or if you decide to use the WASD, then the WASD. And we can hold down a button to continue to move in that direction. And it's working perfectly fine. Next video will be all about, uh, next video in this video especially, will be all about uh, creating walls and collision detection, so look forward to that. If you have any suggestions for other videos you want to see in either in this series or in game other game making tutorial in general, make sure to write them in the comment section or on Facebook and Twitter. There will be links for that on the screen and in the description, so do as you want. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe, because that helps me out a bunch. So until next time, have a good time, and a great day.